Okay, so dear student, I want to show you again the papaya hybridization. So how you can so in the beginning, I want to show you that this is in fluorescence of male flower. You can see is a bunch of flower and they are in in fluorescence most very long long. So if you visit any papaya plant, so easily you can identify when you see the very long inflorescence. And all these are the unopened flower. That means about to bloom so for tomorrow all this flower will bloom so there i found luckily i found one flower one male flower this is at bloom so i will show how to do the pollination so this is male flower with the big a long male inflorescence so another one i want to show this is the female flower huh? this one the, the oil i tried to harvest is a little bit damaged so you can see I want to show you every part so if inside this is the ovary a big ovary and all this is supposed to be the petals so this is the five petals and you see there is no symptoms of anther inside so that means completely the female so so this completely female in a ovary here so I will show you later how inside looks like so this is unopened eh? this is unopened but maybe it's supposed to be uh, by any means is damaged but this is unopened supposed to be open tomorrow so this is female inflorescence female flower of papaya so now i am trying to show you by opening every petals so i am trying to show you the when the this is on petal so this is the petal okay so, so usually five petals do have so you can see so this is the stigma so you can see this is stigma they have so many lobes looks they are looks like a leaf so you can see one two three four five usually so one damaged here so five lobes this is the stigma and when they are about two that means they are ready to receive that is already got the period of anthesis so they are they can easily uh, uh, catch the pollen due to the stickiness and the watery substances so the if it is the normal pollination so suppose the bee honeybee especially the honeybee the friendly uh, insect they usually help in the pollination so you cannot imagine so the plants i have collected this uh, female flower the surrounding no male but still the fruit setting is very high so suppose we can say is it's in every inflorescence they're, uh, they're producing the uh, the fruit so how is it possible it's very uh, very uh, mysterious so that means that any insect or honeybee is a very friendly insect that we cannot deny their con contribution in any means so they that means any means they are collecting the pollens from any male flower and helping so Suppose I am trying to show you now how to do so. This is the male flower. So inside the male flower, you can see the yellowish color. So they are anther. So every anther they carry the pollen. So as now already now difficult to show the pollen because suppose to the morning they usually bloom and they are anthesis period the morning mainly. So that time we can find the yellow color pollen. So what we have to do? So from the male, we have to pick off the or pluck the male flower and have to toss on the stigma. So this is the pollination, the pollination of papaya. And the another thing is if we want to do the hybridization, that is controlled hybridization. In that case, before opening, suppose I have already removed the petals. So when the flower we can realize that tomorrow the flower the female flower is going to open so before that we have to bag with paper bag we have some types of paper bag and the breeding bag so we have to bag it to protect undesired pollination the next morning when the flower is open then the female flower is open we have, we have to collect the pollen from the respective selective male flower then after pollination this, this is called cross pollination. This papaya actually normally we can say three types: the monoecious, dioecious, and bisexual. So I, I tried to find the bisexual one, hermaphrodite flower, but I couldn't find. So uh, for this I am not uh, being able to show the bisexual. But means they are 
those are bisexual at the base of the female they produce like from here they, they produce from here the anther from here so those are bisexual so that means male and female all together but this one is only female and this one is only male so by this way we can uh, do the cross pollination if this is the male and female is selected so after pollination we have to bag again to protect the undesired pollination or the pollen source from any means some, somewhere else so i want to show you in inside so this is ovary so ovary how looks like so if i want to dissect so by using the forceps i am trying to show you inside maybe you already know those who are a bit habituated to eat the papaya fruits regularly so inside i can show you this is immature so you can see in inside looks like the immature the ovary and every seed cell inside so after after the successful pollination they will produce the seed if the pollination is unsuccessful the flower will fall down shed down that means the pollination and, and the, the hybridization that means uh, uh, what is called the uh, the pollination and the hybridization that meaning is that the um, that is the unsuccessful so in that case they will fall down that this fertilization is unsuccessful so when they're tossing this pollination after pollination and the pollen tube is developed and go inside the ovary and with the they fuse with the egg cell then it is called the successful fertilization so if not if not the successful then the fruits will shed down so i want to i am trying to show you the male flower by opening so by cutting from one side so i'm trying to show you so by this way you have to dissect until so you can see the anther is attached with the petal so you can see the anther is attached with the petal so here usually uh, about nine or ten like this so you can see if we dissect to or try to open the anther is attached with the five petals okay so and every every anther they carry okay so I, still i can find some of the anther but very few because usually at the morning we can find the uh, the huge pollen so if this is unopened flower so if i want to show you on un by opening another new one so when this looks like so you can see if i want to remove the single petals one by one so you can see yes so it's still they are carrying pollen that means it, tomorrow morning okay so you can see huge pollen here in my top of my uh, finger so you can see huge pollen yeah this yellow color powdery so they're carrying huge pollen so that means we have to toss with that one on the stigma of the female so this is the pollination of papaya or if it is controlled by bagging or tagging this is where the hybridization by selecting two desired characteristics of the male and female so when you select then it's called the control cross pollination that is the hybridization so those who are those those plants are hermaphrodite bisexual they usually grow the male below the joining of the ovary so in that case we need not to do uh, the help from the even from the uh, i mean honeybee so they are able to uh, pollinate their own ovary so and in that case sometimes we, there may be question how we can identify the fruits to, to see the fruits which one is the female fruit which one is the hermaphrodite fruit so those who are female so fruits usually oval shape oval looks like oval round not exactly round but oval shape and those are hermaphrodite is oblong a little bit longer oblong type fruit so from the fruit we also can determine this fruit is from the female plant or from the male plant so usually the uh, hermaphrodite the fruit is they, they become very uh, bigger and longer because they are oblong and uh, this one is more profitable for the farmer so the if that means if all the plants is female so sometimes it's very difficult if there is no male so in that case the 
fruit successful fruit setting will be hampered so in that case if the plant is hermaphrodite so in that case the possibility of 100% fruit pollination if there is no any other factors you know, uh, affect the fruit, fruit setting so okay my dear students or those who, 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 who can see how to pollinate so thank you everyone in next time i will come off again with some other crops with some new video so best of luck and thank you everyone